All right, so I wanted to use an IoT device, and I have one, an M5 stack, which is kind of cool. The documentation is not always the best, but it's pretty slick. Um, and so one of the things I wanted to be able to do was do this kind of Python programming without writing code. Now, it turns out you can still see code, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and this IoT device has got a bunch of buttons and stuff on it and a screen. But all I really wanted to do was send the temperature of the device and the current rotation of the device so you can tell whether it's sitting up, laying down, or sitting on its side. And it turns out there's code already that can do that. And I didn't want to write any real code for this, so I took this Core 2 device and I burned UI flow. And basically what it does is really just puts a copy of MicroPython on there so I can write Python code. And it turns out behind the scenes, if you look behind these blocks, it's all Python code. So let's talk about this. So on the screen, I have the X, Y, and the temp. So whatever we're going to send to Azure, I'm going to actually display on the screen here. And then it turns out that in, we're going to use the Azure IoT Hub. And you can actually uh, put like device metadata out there, right? And so in my case, whenever this thing starts up, it's going to push metadata to that hub to say this device restarted and connected, reconnected. And so uh, we'll be able to pull that metadata back and we could look and see uh, when that device connected. So let's just talk about what the program is going to do. And then I'll show you the output of this. Uh, we're going to set the time zone on this thing correctly uh, so that the right time shows up on those. And actually, the way I do the time, it probably should be UTC. So this is probably wrong. But I, I did it as Eastern. And you know what? That's wrong. And my old team would get really mad at me anyway. And so then we're going to get the time. We're going to get print the RTC time to the label time. And that's this one here where it says current time. That will be replaced with the time. And then this device has a bar of LEDs going down the side. Um, and so as soon as, as soon as on startup, when we get the time, I'm going to put turn on the first LED. And then we're going to connect to the Azure IoT Hub. We're going to start the Azure connection. We're going to turn on the second LED. And then we're going to update the metadata, what they call the twin reporting. Uh, properties, and we are going to set the last device last connection at to be the current time. And uh, and then what will happen is we're just going to retrieve the property. So we actually should get that time back plus whatever other properties are there. And uh, we're going to set that to be the twin text. So what happens is we retrieve, we get JSON as text back, and then we convert that to a JSON object in Python, which really converts it to a set of maps. And then we load that into a map and then up here on the reported field and the desired field, there's actually when you get this uh, twin, you actually get two things. What's reported, what was desired by the remote side and what's been reported by the client or the device in this case. And so these two fields will actually pick up values from that metadata. And I'll show you the metadata in the console just so you can see what it looks like. Um, and so that's what happens before we do anything. And then we fire up the fifth light. So what will happen a lot of times, you'll see the first light and this connection can take a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds. And then you'll see these other lights come on pretty quick. And then if we come down here in a loop, what we're going to do, I can make this thing work. We're going to get the X value from the device, which we get from the IMU. We're going to get the Y value from the device, which we get from the IMU. And we get the current temperature of the device, uh, which is only marginally calibrated. It's actually the internal temperature, which is unfortunate but it still works. And then we get the RTC time, real time clock time that was a set with the NNTP above. Those all go into a map and we put those into a map. And then these labels, right? We have the temperature, the X, the Y from the IMU and the current time can all get populated. And that's what we do. We populate those labels with the values from the map, right? And then we push that map to the PDC. That's why we actually put it in the map to begin with so that we could show them on the screen, and then we could push them in the uh, device to uh, the queuing up top, right? So, and what we'll do is we will just take that dictionary and we're going to dump it to JSON and then we're going to push it up to the um, to the hub, right? And then I also print it out to the console and I can show you the, yeah, I can show you that. So we populate this dictionary, we send it to the remote side to Azure, and then we print it on the console here just for debugging. And then we increment the loop counter by one. And if the loop counter is even, we set the other side. So we've got three lights on one side of this thing. We've got a light bar on the other side. And that light bar will change every 10 seconds as we do this loop. Oh, and you can't see that, but there's the timer for the loop. Okay. 
So every 10 seconds, we're going to make this thing change. All we have to do to make this thing work is, uh, I don't have a long enough cord, but I'm just going to push the change. And we're on uh, COM3 here to make this work. And so I will push this to the device. And it will show that it uh, gave the device. And you can see there's a light on there. Can you see the light? Oh, yeah. So now it's connecting. And then the rest of the lights come on. And it starts sending the data. Right? Did it come on yet? Nope. Still connecting. Oh, I should have timed this better. All right. And there you go. So all the lights have come on. It's talking to Azure. And if we look on this side now, uh, you can see an orange light. And that orange light will change every 10 seconds to be uh, a red light. Because every 10 seconds, it flips back and forth. And it sends another message. And oops, still. There we go. Right? OK. Man, that does not seem, 10 seconds is a long time when you're waiting for stuff to happen. Okay, so that's what you see on that device. It turns out, because I said this device is logged, I'm gonna plug it back into the USB and we can come over here and we can pull up the comm monitor. I'll move this over just a little bit. And you can see here, that's what it's sending every time, right? So every 10 seconds, it's gonna say that it's sending this to the IoT hub. So, that's really what I wanted to show. Oh, let's look at the um, let's go look at this in the Azure console. And we'll pull this up. So this is my Azure hub. I'm not going to show you any of the sensitive information. Oh, there's my subscription. We'll have to wipe that out. Um, and uh, here we can see that we have one device in this, right? Uh, we could look at the activity log or the overview. I'll do that at the end. Um, and then if we look at that device, uh, one of the things I'd like to see is the device twin, which is what I talked about before, which is the metadata. And so that was where we send the uh, connect time. And so you can see here in the reported, as reported by the device, uh, that the last connect time was at 7.43, right? Which is a minute ago, two minutes ago on my clock. So again, this is the metadata for this thing. Um, and so... The other question is, how can I see the messages that are coming in? So to do that, I'm actually going to go to the Azure Cloud Shell because I'm too lazy to install Azure Shell on my machine right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to set use the AZ Azure CLI, and I'm going to monitor the events on this hub. And when I do that, every 10 seconds, I should see a message come up. So, yeah, there you go. So this is what it sent, right? Every time, every 10 seconds, it sets the Y angle, the X angle, the current temp, and a timestamp to show when this was sent. Uh, so that was it, really. And you can see this goes, I should have made this thing go faster for the demo, but that's what I really wanted to show. And this is an M5 stack device running UI, uh, the MicroPython to support UI core flow. And it is feeding an Azure Hub message. And I did it all in this graphical programming. And the picture will be on the blog. Oh, and one last thing. It turns out this is all readable Python code when you go inside of it. That's it. Have a great day.